In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Good morning, my dear lovely people of God. We have gathered again today to thank God, to praise Him, and to honor Him. May all adoration be His forever and ever. Today is Friday. We are still in the season of Advent. Let us now place our individual intentions into the hands of God. For us to celebrate this sacred, this sacred mystery very widely, let us pause a while and tell God that we are sorry. I confess. Our mighty God, our mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant that your people, we pray, Almighty God, may be ever watchful for the coming of your only begotten Son that as the author of our salvation himself has taught us, we may hasten alert and with lighted lamps to meet him when he comes, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel, I, the Lord your God, teach you what is for your good and lead you on the way you should go. If you would hearken to my commandments, your prosperity would be like a river and your vindication like the waves of the sea. Your descendants would be like the sand and those born of your stock like its grains their name never cut off or blotted from my, out from my presence. The word of the Lord. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Blessed the man who follows not the counsel of the wicked, nor walks in the way of sinners, nor sits in the company of the insolent, but delights in the law of the Lord and meditates on his law day and night. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. He is like a tree planted near running water that yields its fruits in due season and whose leaves never fade. Whatever he does prospers. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Not so the wicked, not so. They are like chaff which the wind drives away. For the Lord watches over the way of the just, but the way of the wicked vanishes. Those who follow you, Lord, will have the light of life. Alleluia. 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 The Lord will come. Go out to meet him. He is the Prince of Peace. 
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, To what shall I compare this generation? It is like children who sit in marketplaces and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they said, He is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they said, Look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by her works. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> In the book of Revelations, we hear our Lord say that he will spit out those who are lukewarm. And that's what we're hearing about today. These children are playing and they play a flute for a, for a dance to be uplifting, but the people don't pay attention to it. They just sit there. And then they play a dirge for those in their morning, and the people don't do anything about it but sit there. And then John comes, and they complain that he's a glutton, or he's possessed by a demon, rather. And then the Son of Man comes, and they say he's a drunkard. They have no faith. They won't go one way or the other. They, they are lukewarm. They know who God is. They know who Jesus is. They know who John is and our Lord. But they won't do anything about it. They continue to live their lives as they always have. They're in this river going down with everybody else. And they don't do anything to get out to this river and try and climb the mountain to our Lord. And we have a lot of those in our country today. A lot of people are like that. They know who our Lord is, but they won't do anything about it. They won't come to church. They won't pray. They don't do anything to try and grow closer to God. They would rather just do what they do every day. Now, we're going to see a lot of those people here in a few weeks at Christmas. And that's a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing when people who have not come to church for a long time, who just ignore God, ignore the church, ignore, ignore Jesus, but they come on Christmas or they come uh, uh, um, at Easter, that's okay. That's a good thing because when they're here and they're taking up our seats and they're standing on the aisles, we need to be praying for them, praying that they come back. And that something happens during that Mass that will touch their hearts so that the Holy Spirit can work in them to bring them back into the fold of the church. John the Baptist proclaimed that all my kind will see the saving power of God. Therefore, we pray confidently for the needs of all God's children. For our church, as it awaits the coming of our Lord with patience and courage, let us pray to the Lord. For those who make laws for our lives, may they seek the good of all men, women, and children. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord for those who are without faith, 
that they may feel the Lord in their lives during the Christmas season. Let us pray to the Lord. For those who are without faith, that they may feel the Lord in their lives during the Christmas season. Let us pray to the Lord. For world peace and an end to violence, especially in our country, let us pray to the Lord. For an end to the COVID pandemic and healing for those who have it, let us pray to the Lord. For all those who are sick and who are dying, for those who have died, for those whose names are written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. And for the repose of the souls of Tom and Don Welsh, whom this Mass is offered, let us pray to the Lord. Almighty and merciful God, for you all things are possible. Fulfill our hopes and intentions as we confidently pray to you through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of many hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of many hands, to become for us a special drink. Prayer, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings, and since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as we that end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us 
the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, we are church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of, of charity. Together with Francis our Pope, Edward our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Our mercy also we pray that we, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, we bless the Joseph, her spouse, we, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, for glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, we say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamp of God.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth and hold firm to the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying our Lord by your life. Amen. Speed to God. A quick note, uh, there will be a group meeting in the East parking lot at 915 to go to the abortion center or clinic to uh, pray. And uh, please join this group if you have a chance. Uh, Mr. Nagy will be... Uh, kind of guiding this group. So out here in the west side here at about 915. Immaculate Mary, your praises.